Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of the Java Tip of the Week. During the last few days, I got the chance to be in Stockholm for a conference called JFocus. JFocus is one of the biggest Java conferences in Europe, and the content is really great, so I really advise you to go there next year if you have the chance. On JFocus, I also had a session about Maven, called Maven Taming the Beast, and we're going to look into some of the aspects of the session on today's topic. So Maven Taming the Beast session was about uh, fixing and uh, debugging most of the common problems and pitfalls that you get when you are using Maven. So I'm going to show you some of the commands that I usually use uh, to debug these issues and problems. So here I just have like a simple project. I'm going to show you the pom file. As you can see, I only have two dependencies, uh, project A and project B, or dependency A and dependency B. Um, and sometimes I want to know what are the exact class paths that's been included on this project. So if I type MVN dependency list, I'm going to see a list of the entire dependencies that are included in Maven. Now Maven has something called uh, transitive dependency, so that's why you see um, all these uh, jar files over here. This is because Maven includes all the dependencies that are included on other dependencies you are using. So kind of like it goes recursively picking dependencies of dependencies and so on. So the way that you can see this is like doing MVN dependency column tree. So you can see them as a tree format. So it's uh, much easier to understand where the dependencies are coming from. These commands come from the Maven dependency plugin. This plugin also has a, uh, some other useful goals, like the analyze goal. So if you do Maven dependency uh, analyze, um, it will try to see if there are dependencies that are not being used in your project. So in this particular case, it says that uh, dependency B is not being used, and maybe it will be safely removed. I say maybe because, um, for instance, if you're using reflection, uh, Maven is not able to understand that, so it will say that the classes from the dependency B are not being used, uh, but on runtime, uh, the story might be different. Maven is also something uh, that they call uh, Maven dependency mediation. The Maven dependency mediation is used to try to filter out um, dependencies that are exactly the same, but different versions. So you can actually see if Maven is trying to do any dependency mediation by doing dependency tree and then minus d verbose. Now for this particular case, you can actually see that I'm including the commons login library 1.1 uh, on my project A. And then I'm including commons login 1.2 on my project C. But C is a dependency of B, while A is directly included on the main project. So dependency mediation, what it actually does is when it finds the same dependency, but with different versions, it will tr go to the first um, dependency that it finds on the tree. So the shortest, nearest definition first. Uh, in this particular case, if I will want to use 1.2, I will have to include it directly on the main project because 1.1 will always be selected since it's the shortest uh, dependency in here to the main project. Sometimes you also run into works on my machine problems when you're setting up a project and you already have dependencies needed for that project on your local repository. That not might be the case for your teammates who might run into these issues. So to be on the safe side, you can always do mvn clean install uh, minus d maven dot repo dot local. Then you can say slash tmp slash m2. And this will override the default uh, local repo for Maven, making Maven download everything again for that new directory. So you can actually see that this build is failing. So now we have to figure out uh, what's the parents are missing and actually add it to the project directly. And that was it. Um, Maven has uh, a lot more to explore, so check out my presentation about other things that you can uh, use, especially to speed up Maven. 
Um, I might actually uh, revisit the Maven topic into a future uh, tip of the week. I hope you enjoyed this week's session and see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.